Hey, people, injured here, 3v3, Sicaris Plateau, blue team. Exhaust Triad with a Warlock, a melee spellcaster that leaps into combat, some powerful disruption and support alongside. I like Dreadnoughts with an Apothecary, support hero fighting in melee by default begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Ultramarines DLC here. And rounding off the blue, Bor Bali with a Plague Champion starts off with the damage of a time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support, can also repair. Red team, Slime with a Tech Marine starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage with a bunch of support and structures and stuff. Can also wade into melee, is this? Nope, I thought it was Blood Ravens for a second. Alongside, Bread of Ye with a Lick to Alpha, a melee specialist can infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support. And rounding off the teams, Crazy Chairman 96 rocking an Inquisitor. Offensive hero with powerful control abilities begins in melee but can get specialized ranged weapons. Is this, yep, Armageddon Steel Legion elite scheme here. Looks like they are the Southwest player against the Plague Champion. Being reinforced here by Ilac Dreadnought's Tactical Marines though. Pouring some damage on the Sentinel, there's the repairs. The Inquisitor trying to fight some heretics, which is not a great fight for her early on. Almost went down. Here comes some Bormagons and here comes Elixir Alpha. Now going after some tactical marines. No flesh hook yet. Did the scouts drop one? The scouts did drop a model. Slightly unlucky to do so actually. Got their shotguns in play. Elixir Alpha takes a bunch of damage. Bormagons are on the tacks. Tacks go for the garrison maybe? I think so. No. They're just going to fight in melee with some ap apothecary support which is very dicey. Doesn't have to heal anymore. They do indeed go for the garrison in the end. Double termigants here to help out. One to one on the VP caps. Looks like blue team are grabbing the southwest. Contested though, here it is. This contested VP very far away from the two naturals in the east and the north. So late game you might see all the teams fighting over the two naturals. And just one or two things fighting over this contested VP down here. But at the start of the game, a lot of action on it. Sentinel getting repairs from two Guardsman squads. Seems like they are kind of keeping up with the damage and repairs there. I think so. Got some Nurgle Worship for health regen. And Black Grenade just popping in there for Bobali's Plague Champion. Northeast. Got some scouts for Slime. They are taking up these contested points. Now going for the natural points here. Warlock is not happy about this. Got some Banshees in play. Already have the aspect of fleetness. Double tax for Eyelet Dreadnoughts. Devastators on the way for Slime Bread, Bread of Ye. With Warrior Brood up. Nothing else yet for Borbali. First power purchase was the Blight Grenades. Needs to get some good use out of them. They did not push the power. Which I think is a mistake. Trying to stabilize on the VP I guess but... With the Blight Grenades, I think you have a good shout pushing the grenades because you can chuck grenades. Chuck pushing the gens, I mean. You can chuck the grenade on the guardsmen there. Send them running. We do have a Power Melee Inquisitor now, though. Holy Brazier. And she's going for her Rosarius for some protection. Warrior Brood are a detector unit. So the sneaky scouts might not be able to be super sneaky. Not sure if they have their elite training yet. CSM with a turn of war. There's a flesh hook. Plague Champ is in trouble already. I don't know if they're going to be able to throw their Black Grenade. No, they're not. They got flesh hooked and then Hammer of the Witches. And now the CSM are getting torn up. Doom Blast. I'm not sure if it made a difference. It might have. And Feeder Tendrils in for the Lictor Alpha. That was pretty scary for the Plague Champion there. Two bots indeed. Oh, Scouts might wipe to Guardians. And they do. Not sure if they ate a grenade at some point or something. Don't think those guys... Nope, there's a grenade. I don't think those guys had any upgrades, though. Tax drop a model on that. Mastercrafted Bolter for the Tech Marine. Great tool to have against the Banshees to high-power shot them. They are already running. Not sure what happened to those ladies. Raptors up now for Borbali. Big fight on their natural power. And Raptors wipe. Raptors did not last long there. Holy crap. Got jumped by Warrior Brood, Lictor Alpha, and Hormagaunts. Warrior Brood and the Lictor with power melee here. They are tearing through stuff. Down goes the Apothecary. Really nice shotgun blast though. It only suppresses one unit, but it will knock back units around it, as you saw there. 
Holy Pyre thrown in. It's a nasty combo, you know. Licked to Alpha and a Inquisitor. That Flesh Hook Hammer of the Witches combo is pretty nuts. And then you've got Feeder Tendrils and a Holy Brazier on top of that now. Light Grenades. It looks like they infected their own units with them. Which is not great. But they're running in there. Very sloppy approach. But I guess you've got to get in. Not sure why the CSN came up so far. Trying to get damage on the Termigants, maybe. Grenade flies in. It's a decent hit. Four Guardsmen down. CSM getting into melee with them using their Eternal War damage buff. Going for some garrison action now. Do they have any support though? There's a Shuriken Cannon here. Fierce fighting early on over these gens. I don't think they actually got one though. Got some good kills. Poor Barley losing those Raptors almost immediately. Right grenade there misses. And the Stomp missed from the Sentinel Elite too. Triple cap for the red team. They have been rebuffed though, but the map is so red right now. Zostriad struggling to contest the top and he lost their, their Banshees along the way, you know. They brought their Shuriken here and their Banshees have fallen. Where have they fallen? They might not leave bodies. Some melee units don't leave bodies because it was, it was bugging out their speed and stuff because of melee charges and all these complicated things. Not sure if they were able to fix that. Slime got some scouts back. And they're both shotgunned up now. And they're power bashing now. This is the mid power. Might be able to get all of them. Guardians won't be enough alone. Zostriad does go tier 2. But Slime wasn't far behind. And they have a pretty chunky tier 1 army here. Flank from the Guardian weapon team. Need to get closer than that lads. Warlock jumps in to disrupt things. Trying to tie up the Tech Marine's dangerous Mastercrafted Bolter, but couldn't, couldn't quite manage it. Grenades. It's a nice one. Only gets a single kill. They have another they can throw. And now the attacks are suppressed. That one didn't do great. Tech Marine stays in play. But eventually leaves. Gens repurchased. The scouts of I Like Dreadnoughts helping out, grabbing some points back up here. Nice to see some good teamwork. Razor back on the field. There's a tier 2 for Slam. Looks like Bredovyi is the last player in tier 1. We have a heavy bolter turret up for the Plague Champion. Doing some decent work here, I think. Need to target the Lictor. Now the Lictor's too close to target. But they got support. Apothecary's here with a customized Storm Bolter. Tacks are here too. The Lictor is on that turret. Not sure what these CSM are up to. Trying to get into those Termigants in melee, I guess. Those, that Plasma's nasty on those double guardsmen over there. But there's a Noxious Cloud from Borbali. Global ability of the Plague Champion is very, very painful. Look at the kills. I think only one of them has... I can't even select those other fellas. There we go, they do have Plasma. Only one of them has Plasma. They got the turret down, the Lictor, but I think they might go down for it. Indeed, they do. Could perhaps be revived from there, but on the power, maybe, for I Like Dreadnoughts. They got some Stone Guard using Hellfire. You know, drive around the back of the power, apparently. Bunch of Eldar stuff here. Not sure what Slime is up to. Oh, they're waiting for the Razorback. Here we go. Should be using Vengeance Rounds to bash power. There we go. The Stone Guard aren't actually firing here, by the way. Here we are. They must have technically still been inside the Razorback when he gave the order or something. Maybe they could have got all three gens down if they weren't. If the Stone Guard were joining in, switching back to Hellfire. Dealing damage over time to light infantry and heroes. It's like acid or something. Hellfire rounds. 40k mental acid probably. Got a couple of the gens. Jumps inside the Razorback. It's good, neat play overall from I Like Dreadnoughts. Would have been neater if those Stone Guard were firing though, eh? Guardians chuck a grenade and flee. But they got the, the they got the VP uncapped. It's not bad. These guys are in an odd place. Very easily flanked, but I guess it's covering some areas. Webway gate up here for Zostriad, who's got a Wraith Lord up. It's a relatively 
large distance from your base to the midpoint, which can make it tough for walkers on Sycharis. We'll see how it does. Holy Pyre going in. Looks like they're going to get the razor back down here. Down it goes. Black grenade throw. Venom Brood getting that razor back down. Got some grenade launcher heretics. A sentinel missile launcher now. But blue team hold on to the VP and they forced all that stuff off. They can get straight back onto the power. And Borbali has a Chaos Dreadnought in its default loadout with auto cannon and mean looking claw. There's the Wraith Lord, shoulder mounted Shuriken Cannon. Gonna try and get some melee hits on the Razorback or tie up this Stone Guard because they are doing anti vehicle damage. And now so is the Tech Marine with a Melter Gun. Gonna see Signum coming in too. I don't know if this Wraith Lord can get away, you guys. Can't tie up both of them. And a Bright Lance isn't going to help. And there's Mark Target. The Wraith Lord is done for. I told you, Sycharis can be tough for walkers. Unless you're a sorcerer and can teleport them around or something. Suppressed Tactical Marines. Father Kerry maybe has used a heal already. I assume they'd be using it now if they hadn't. Got a full Power Bash. And a new Razorback for I Like Dreadnoughts. And another one on the way, by the way. You can reinforce off these dread off these uh, Razorbacks in the field, which is handy. Not sure if they've seen the Dreadnought yet. Dreadnought, for some reason, has gone for the Marco Zinch. Giving it an anti-vehicle missile launcher. It can do this thing. A frenzied barrage. But I would have just kept it with the auto cannon, probably. Are they reinforcing off the pheromone? Pheromone cloud, that is. On the front foot here, I like Dreadnoughts. Might need to back off a bit. Auto Cannon is getting shots in from the Heavy Weapon Squad. The other Razorback is in play. Where's it gone to? There it is. And that one's still going. Big Champion goes down. Dreadnought now stuck in melee with Heavy Melee Warrior Brood. And these guys don't have melee resist with Mark of Zinch. Down it goes. Venom Brood were there. That Dreadnought basically achieved nothing. That's a massive waste of resources for Borbali. Very much being carried by I like Dreadnoughts down here at the moment. Got some Mark of Zinch CSM though. They can do some work. Inferno PvP bolts. Very good against heavy infantry and heroes. Super heavy infantry too. Venom Brood are heavy infantry. They do have their ranged synapses as well, so that's buffing the double termigants down here. Back to the northeast. They have been holding the VP, you can tell because they are ahead on VPs, but they might not hold it for too much longer. They know there's a webway, they're looking for it. There we go. Oh, Wraith Guard on the field now for Zostriad. With some Wraith Cannons, and here comes the Spirit Seer Warlock fella. Improves their speed, allows them to see further. Master Gothic bol Bolter back in the hand of the Tech Marine. Is switching back to Melter Gun though, because Wraith Guard are heavy infantry, so the Melter Gun will do some extra damage there. And he can't suppress them with the high powered shot either. Razorback backs off. Truck and Bolt loaded in for the Stern Guard because of the anti heavy infantry again. Wraith Guard on the prowl, but they are isolated here. The attacks, the Stone Guard could just tie them up in melee. It seems like that's what they're doing. I assume they don't retain any damage profile properties of their ammo when they're in melee, but you never know. You never know how it's implemented. Grenade they're looking for here. There it is. They were mostly live to it. Could have moved a little bit sooner technically. Back to the southwest, it's still kicking off. We have a Plague Fist, Plague Champion, with Armor of Pestilence, which was recently nerfed, which was not fair to my beloved Plague Champion at all. Give him some health regen on it or something. It doesn't give him any health regen, that's crazy. It's a Plague Champion, come on now. Good black grenade throw. Some good work. Lots of dead Tyranids. Double Razorbacks, eh? Do some decent work here for I like Dreadnoughts level 5. Apothecary's heal gets more powerful each level. 
Taking a bunch of damage here though. Hammer of the Witches as well. Can't heal when he's hammered. Has to retreat off the stun. We have an Inferno Pistol Inquisitor now for Crazy Chairman. And no gens up down here by the way. Oh, Inquisitor goes down. He's fallen. Level 3 Chaos Space Marines for Borbali. Just goes tier 3, by the way. Red of Ye with a zone throat on the way. Both the red heroes down there have fallen. 2 to 1 for blue. Tier 3 is all around aside from Bred of Ye. What level is Lictor Alpha's level 4? He's done alright. Especially at the start. Level 4 Inquisitor. Level 3 Plague Champion. Level 6 Apothecary has been really strong. Level 1 Warlock does have the Witchblade of Kernus. But I think just go and get, grab the Warp Throw. They're fighting a ranged army of annoying Marines. Chuck them around and annoy them back. Who's going to chuck the grenade first? It's the Guardians. And it can be tough to dodge them at that range. Shotgun Blast is what they use their energy for. Suppresses them, but they're going to get up and do a bunch of damage. And they have to run. Wraith Cannon time. Suppresses infantry. Oh, the Spirit Seer goes down. Just demolishing these Devastators. Are they going to get away? Mark target up on the Wraith Guard. I need to run, guys. He did get the Devastators down. And I think the Wraith Guard will make it away. Here comes some support from I Like Dreadnoughts with a race back of their own. Is there something inside it though? Like Stern Guard, for example, to shoot this thing. Melter Gun Tech Marines on it. Gonna get at least one rear armor hit, I think. There we go. Ouch. Big ouches. I don't think there was anything inside it. Blue. T oh, this Razorback's heavily damaged. Blue team trying to stabilize the southwest. They have a Nurgle Shrine periodically heals nearby allies and suppresses nearby enemies if you worship it you can reinforce from the shrine which is a pretty big deal Razorbacks need a lot of repairs heretics can repair so can the plague champion but he doesn't seem interested he wants to fight tier in his run they've got a genes to the brood now and bread of you does go tier three I've not seen any tier three units yet though plague champion gets hammer of the witches on his head. Have we seen a judgment yet? I don't think we have. Her energy flies down because she puts the Rosarius up. I think it can be pretty tough to make this work with an Inquisitor because she's so energy intensive. I guess all heroes kind of are. But some are just good brawlers who just throw the shield up and get stuck in. Angels of Death thrown up by Eyelight Dreadnoughts, giving 50% damage resist. Advanced healing as well, a nasty combo to try and break down. But they broke it down on those tacks with Plasma and Sentinels. And now something being pulled in. Is it Terminators? It is indeed some Terminators for Eyelight Dreadnoughts. Doesn't have a Dreadnought yet, I'd like to point out. Sentinel gets a good stomp. Razorback, the healthy Razorback helping out here. Terminators need to be very careful fighting gene stealers with melee synapse. They're taking huge amounts of damage. They need to teleport out. Couldn't they teleport further than that? Maybe not. Razorback goes down. Got a bit too close there. You can see that I like Dreadnought has some good instincts. He's just sometimes his unit positioning lets him down a little bit. But that'll come with time. Still a relatively new player maybe. Chaos Predator getting Mark of Nurgle. There we go. Now needs to move though. Gives it melee resistance which is very helpful there. And now another Razorback coming in from I Like Dreadnoughts being repaired. Terminators did take a bunch of damage. It might be worth throwing a heal on them. I guess it's on cooldown at the moment. Oh, some Eldar shenanigans from Zostriad, who's got an avatar on the way and got some chosen Plague Marines up here for Borbali. Unique to the Plague Champion. Power melee damage over time, knives. Big chunks of hit points exploding on death, which does heal themselves, unlike regular Plague Marines. Meanwhile, Northeast. 
Tech Marine's barely alive. Terminator's up here for Slime being tied up, though, by a Warlock. Grenade's flying in. I don't think the uh, Bright Lance is going to get away. No, Bright Lance goes down. Warlock. Oh, throws up Providence. Scouts made it out, apparently. Avatar is where? Oh, he's not moving. Warlock's going to die really quick when the Providence runs out. There it goes. They got the webway. And they still have the VP. I like Dreadnoughts. Might have to go up there. Uh-oh. Chaos Pred almost getting shot to death by Vanquisher Lehman Russ. Terminators are now fully healed up though with an assault cannon. To try to focus fire on one of these synapse creatures here. Dictat drops in. This is a tier 3 licked with heavy melee. Well, the carry is level 7. Now has 265 energy to power all his stuff. Trying to get the stern guard into the Razorback. And then get away. Oh, it's going to be close. I think they barely managed it. They did. Well played. And the Terminators now get away. There's the teleport. Got some repairs for the tank. The Nurgle Shrine is still here. Although it's not being worshipped at the moment. So they can't reinforce off it. The heretics are busy repairing I guess. Light grenade throw. It's a good one. Frozen Plague Marines getting stuck in. Eventually. Oh they got crippling poison I think. Zone throw getting pretty close. Plague Champion trying to smack on a Lehman Russ. That, how was that not a rear arm hit? 183 to 74. What's going on northeast again? Here's the Avatar. It's already taken a bunch of damage from the Melter Gun and stuff, maybe. Now they're off at base. Avatar backs away. Back towards the southwest. Blue team holding it. Plague Champion gets out, level 4, steel repairs for the tank, where are the scouts, why aren't they repairing stuff, they're hanging back, about 100 VPs in it, maybe it's time for Bredovi to double the top of the map, is that what they're doing, where's their stuff, nope, they keep coming back to the bottom, Sometimes players get tunnel vision like this. I mean, look how entrenched they are down here. You go northeast, you can sweep through Zostriad perhaps with two players. Take out a bunch of stuff, cap up all these points. And then it's up to Ilac Dreadnoughts to respond. They're kind of playing in their hands at the moment. Doesn't mean they can't break through the bottom. But a little bit, little bit more maneuverability, maybe they could make it easier for themselves. Wraithguard dropping a model to the melted gun. And all of that piercing DPS of the Terminators. And there's the retreat. Back to the southwest. Tyran is just trying to brute force in there. It's a good rocket run. Looks like the Nurgle's rock was active. We've got some zombies. Pretty good rocket run for Crazy Chairman. Two to one on the cat. Another Demon Russ on the way. So that'd be an icon of Nurgle, maybe? Nope. Oh, that's the, the passive damage from the Chosen Plague Marines that they do around them. Another good Light Grenade. Light Grenades can sometimes grow in usefulness in a 3v3 because the game gets so hectic, it's much harder for the opposing team to keep an eye on the Plague Champion and what he's doing when he's throwing his grenade. And kind of sneak it in there. 164 to 30. Sneaky Eldar. Gonna get a Toronto formation for their assistance. I think they're alright. It takes out the webway, unfortunately for them. But there must be another one somewhere. Yeah, there's, there's more up. They weren't kicked out of it. Can they get a Lehman Russ? Stern Guard trying to help. The Nurgle tank trying to get shots in. Not great for taking out other vehicles. But his auto cannon will do some work. It's getting too far up though. It's getting way too far up. It's gonna go down. Down it goes. 
A missile launcher, Sentinel help now level 3. Well played, Crazy Chairman, to keep that thing alive in all this. Northeast looking very red still. There's a double cap for red. There's a 2 to 1. Here's the Avatar about to fall. Melter Gun gets it. Tech Marine hits level 6. And this is... Is this a venerable Dreadnought? Surely. Yes. It could have been Tactical Marines. They could have... They could have trolled me with Tactical Marines there. But it is a venerable Dreadnought. Unique to the Tech Marine. My favourite unit in the game. I really wish this guy could get a... At least a Melter Gun or something. Some kind of ranged option. Come on now. Been going at it for a while in melee, that fella. Lictor is persuaded to leave. Fredovji hasn't been able to push super well with their roster. No Carnifexes, no Neurothrope. Not sure the Lictor was the right choice. Oh, it might have been a good choice if you took it northeast or something. But just running it into brute force fights is not what they're good at. Or Bali suggesting that Dreadnoughts helps top. They now have a Land Redder Phobos of their own. Also, Blast Master Noise Marines. I guess they're reasonably confident they can hold the uh, southwest of it. Level 2 Chosen Plague Marines as well. Highlight Dreadnought is, is not responding though to the suggestion they go up the north. We've got double Terminators here, double Assault Cannons. And some assistance from Zostria. Fire Dragons, great source of anti-vehicle. Warlock getting stuck in, being stunned by Hergartus. Now knocked over. And a good jump from the Lictor there. Where's the Lictor Alpha, by the way? He's dead on the contested VP, I think. What is this? Oh, here comes the Plague Champion using the webway. Wants to fight a venerable dreadnought. It's not going to work out for you, buddy. I mean, he, they put up the pestilence strike, which helps them against all this range damage. But the venerable dreadnought smacks him down, and down he goes. Got very excited. Got out the webway. Never used the webway before in his life. The plague champion was very pleased to be there, and the venerable dreadnought has ruined his holiday up to the northeast. Still holding the southwest VP though, and we have a carnifex. Going for the thorn back for more health and the ability to spawn rippers. I'm not sure if it buffs the damage of the kind of effects. I always forget. Is he going to tell me here? It just says 400 health, stampede, and spawn rippers. Fair enough. It already does a big chunk of damage. Cobos needs to move. Double Lehman Russ is shooting it here. With Vanquishers and the Sentinel. And there's the Lictor getting in. Look how quickly they deal with this Phobos. Got wrecked. Lictor just hit level 2, I think. Turret going down. They're sweeping through Borbali. Needed to be way more careful with their Phobos. Meanwhile, though, can they get their natural VP back? I think they can. Tarantula turret falls. Tax on cap with the faster capping trait. The Venerable Dreadnought got a big chunk of XP cutting that plague champion, I think. All by himself, basically. Tank needs to be careful to here for slime. Showing rear armor. Tech Marine falls. Plague Champion's back to his feet. Was that a heal revive? Not sure. Blessing of the Omnicide active from the Tech Marine to repair all allied vehicles on the map. Predator tank takes down the Warlock. Soon to take down... The, the Plague Champion, that was sloppy from Borbali. And the Warlock, really. GG, they say. Red Team has it. 2-1 to one cap. They did not help out Zostriad. But yeah, fun game. I like Dreadnoughts. I mean, it's easy to say that Dreadnought should have been up here helping. But as you saw, as soon as they left the Southwest, they just lost it. So, it's not like it would have given them the 2v1 cap. It would have just given them their natural back. And they would have lost the contested and struggled to get it. But it, it was just rough. It was rough. Borbali had a good mid game, but early game and late game, they kind of fell apart a little bit there. Level 7 Tech Marine Slime was very strong. 
Bredovi did eventually get their monstrous creatures going crazy chairman solid as always. There you have it guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.